ವಕ್ಷಾಮಿತಕಾಮ್ಯಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವನ್ ವಾಚ ಭೂಯ ಮಹಾಬಾಹೋ ಶ್ರೀನು ಮೇ ಪರಮ ವಚ ಯತ್ತೇಹ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೆಯ ವಕ್ಷಾಮೀತ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಚಂತ್ ಶ್ರೀಭಗವನ್ ವಾಚ ಭೂಯ ಮಹಾಬಾಹೋ ಶ್ರೀನೋ ಮೇ ಪರಮ ವಚ ಯತ್ತೇಹ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮಾನಯ Shri Bhagavan Navacha The Supreme Personality of Godhead said Muyaha Again Eva Certainly Mahabaho O mighty armed Shri no Just here Me My Paramam Supreme vachaha instruction yat that which te to you aham i priyamanaya thinking you dear to me vakshami say hitakamaya for your benefits translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vidanta swami shila propad ki the supreme personality of god had said listen again o mighty amarjuna because you are my dear friend for your benefit i shall speak to you further giving knowledge that is better than what i've already explained purport the word bhagavan is explained thus by parshamuni one who is full in six opulences who has full strength full fame wealth knowledge beauty and renunciation is bhagavan all the supreme personality of godhead while krishna was present on this earth he displayed all six opulences therefore great sages like parshamuni have all accepted krishna as the supreme personality of godhead 
Now Krishna is instruction, instructing Arjuna in more confidential knowledge of his opulences and his work. Previously, beginning with the seventh chapter, the Lord has already explained his different energies and how they are acting. Now in this chapter, he explains his specific opulences to Arjuna. In the previous chapter, he has clearly explained his different energies to establish devotion and firm conviction. Again, in this chapter, he tells Arjuna about his manifestations and various opulences. The more one hears about the Supreme God, the more one becomes fixed in devotional service. One should always hear about the Lord in the association of devotees that will enhance one's devotional service. Discourses in the society of devotees can take place only among those who are really anxious to be in Krishna consciousness. Others cannot take part in such discourses. The Lord clearly tells Arjuna that because Arjuna is very dear to him, for his benefit, such discourses are taking place. Om Gyan Dimadandasya Gyanana Shalakya Chakshamitam Yena Tasmi Shigura Venamaha Vanchakapa Turu Vescha Kripa Sindhu Vyevicha Patitanam Bhavni Vyo Vaishnavyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Siddhi Gauda Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Nama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna's Bhagavan, Krishna's two Bhagavan, Swayam. Bhagavan is one who has those six opulences full of strength, and he displayed it when he appeared 5,000 years ago. How did Krishna display his strength? Anyone can give an example? Yes. He lift Govardhani. Giribharidhari. How do you lift it? With the right hand or left hand? Left hand. Which one's? That's the weak one, right? <laughs> and with which finger? <laughs> Thank you. And how for how long? Seven days. Pretty strong. And Krishna means all attractive. We're also attracted to such qualities like strength. We see like the world's strongest man competition and some you know, some big guys pulling a plane for five meters or something, you know. Whoa <laughs> You know. You've seen it, you've probably seen it, you know, they're, they're holding some big hammer. And you have to hold it up for the longest, and he's the strongest man. And they hold it for 30 seconds. <laughs> Who are they compared to Krishna? They have some strength. It's impressive, you admit. But not unlimited. And Krishna, just looking like a seven-year-old boy. Very beautiful. So. And he's very easy. Not only just carrying it. But there's like, yes, also playing flute. <laughs> He's a really good musician. But, you know, at the same time, Indra sending the Samvataka clouds, which are used for annihilation of the whole universe. They were thundering and downs with thunderbolts and uh, like uh, pillars of, of rain and hailstorms. Not like the beautiful snow outside this today. I, was lo I loved it. <laughs> I was like, wow, Krishna is so beautiful, you know, it's the snow, it felt like Christmas. <laughs> We're so lucky here, because it doesn't snow anywhere else. We went and did Harinam in Paso, you just drive out a little bit, and it's all gone, Christmas is over, the demons have taken over. <laughs> Christmas used to be a, a, religi a religious thing, and now it's, they've changed it to something else. Krishna is the most famous. If you ask an atheist, do you believe in God? What would he say? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. He'll say nine. <laughs> Why does he say nine? Because he knows who you're talking about. He knows who you're talking about. 
So even for the atheist, he's known. He's the most famous. And we're attracted to fame, people who are famous, even for the wrong reasons. Um, Jeremy has its infamous personalities in the past. Yeah. I'm going to name. <laughs> we know who they are. But if we knew someone who knew him, we'd be like, whoa, what was he like? we get attracted. And Krishna has unlimited wealth. His wealth in Dwarka was absolutely amazing. Every He had 16,108 queens. Each one had their own palace. These palaces weren't ordinary. They had like golden domes on top. Inside, they had columns of lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli, you can't get, you only can get like, people who have expensive homes, and they have like a grain of it, like it's sort of like one line of it. And things were made out of solid gold. Like uh, if you look at Prabhupada, if, if you get a chance, you must go to New Vrindavan where Prabhupada's Palace of Gold is there. It's um, in New Virginia. West Virginia, sorry. Yeah. And there, um, they have, uh, I don't know how much gold leaf they've put. It's gold leaf, so it's not even like solid. It's just, it's like a thin strip of gold, this real one. And then they put it over the top of it. And they've, they put so much. And look, we've had so much. It's an amazing thing. They even have so much, they have stone that doesn't exist anymore there. So, but like in Krishna's palaces, there was like even columns of coral as well. So and then there was no lights inside. They didn't use lights. The gems were lighting up the palace. And then inside they have uh, like frankincense and all these beautiful fragrances being burnt within the walls. And then inside the walls they have this lattice, like little small holes with beautiful designs all coming through. And the peacocks, they get lost. There's many peacocks there as well. And they get lost up in all this smoke. And there's like pearls hanging through and it's so amazing. And with that, you know, also the maid servants of the queens who are also very beautiful walking around, also decorating beautiful jewelry, just adding to the atmosphere, the auspiciousness more and more. Such opulence that Krishna had. And he could enjoy it all at the same time as well. <laughs> what rich man can enjoy all his houses that he has, or all his cars? You know, you might have seen like these rich people in Dubai and they have like 32 different cars, but they can't enjoy them all at the same time. They can't even decide which one to choose. <laughs> you know, they, they just get, they have some guy, who, you know, people look over it and then who can, ha they can't really enjoy all this opulence. But Krishna, not only does he have the wealth, and he's, he's also aham sarvasya prabhavum mata sarvam pavatati itamata bhajanta man buddha bhavan sarvamata that all spiritual material worlds emanate from him. Everything belongs to him. Sarva Loka Maheshwara. He is the Lord of all the demigods and the planets. No one has more than Krishna. But he still uh, what does he do? I will go into I'm going into the sixth opulence, but it's a little a little hint. Even though he has everything, he's asking us for something. It's in the ninth chapter, text 26. What does Krishna ask from us? Huh? No, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Pacham pusham palam toyam yoma bhakti prachati. Tanaham bhakti apayatam. Astami praitap mana. What kind of rich person is this? <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, yeah, just offer me a fruit, flower, leaf, water. As long as we love devotion, I'll take it. It's, it's so means so much to me. Because if you have everything, you can't take anything more, right? But he can. Because something is missing. We'll get to that <laughs> in the last opulence. Krishna has unlimited knowledge. Isn't it? Sarvasa, chaham, hridi, sana, bisto, mata, sarvam, pavatate. No, no, Mata Smithy Gan and Pornam Chat.